free and easy, my two favorite words to help track attendance and make connections with our students. First, let's open a Google form. Right here at the top, this is the title of the form that the students will see. I will just keep it as attendance. But up here in the top left, if I click there after I put attendance, it'll put the same thing. But I want to start organizing by month and date. So I'm going to change the name here. So put the date here. And I have a folder for my attendance. So I'm gonna move it to a folder so I can keep it nice and organized. This is all my attendance for 2023. I saved it as one of my starred features. Click there and it's going to move it. So everything is gonna be saved. All my attendance files are going to be saved in the same exact location. The first question I always ask is of course the first name. It'll automatically recognize as a short answer. We want it required. And what I do next is just duplicate that. That way I only have to change one word here. This is my next question. Last name. Again, it's required. It kept all the same features. Then I wanna add another section. This one I'm gonna ask, what period do you have geometry? and then start listing my options. I like to make this a drop down menu. It seems to keep it more neat and organized for me. If you've added one that you don't have, you can go over here to the X and delete it. So that will check them in for the attendance. Now what I wanna ask my next question is, how are they feeling? I wanna kinda of get a pulse of the students. Where are they at? Are they ready to learn? Do they have other issues going on that maybe I need to address? So feeling good and ready to learn. Feeling meh, just like whatever. Or maybe they're feeling sad and upset. Again, I make this required. Next, I'm gonna add another section. So we're gonna let them answer that. And I'm gonna ask them if they would like to share. Then I'm gonna give them the option of yes or no. Once you type in yes, it automatically suggests no, so you can just click on that. Now, depending on what they respond here, if they don't wanna say anything more, I want them to go to submit the file, we're done. So go to these three dots, go to section based on answer, and then if they say no, we want them to be able to go straight to submitting the form. If they say yes, we want them to go to a section. We don't have a section for them. Go here to this equal sign that's add a section. And if they say yes, we want them to go to section two. Now I haven't titled section two, so I'm gonna title that now. What would you like to share? And you have to add the question. I just left click, copy that, Control C or Command C on a Mac. We'll copy that, click on the question, Control V or Command V will paste it and allow the students to respond. Now right here, notice it says after section one, they're gonna continue to the next section. We only want them to continue to the next section if they've selected yes here. So change this to submit form. Now let's take a look at what it looks like on the student's end. Filling out the form as if I were a student. I'm feeling good today and ready to learn. Would I like to share? Yes. When they click next, it asks them, what would you like to share? And then submit. So really quickly, I'm gonna add a couple more responses and then I'm gonna show you how to quickly color code and see what students you need to check in with and which ones you maybe can just respond with an email or something easier. See here, if a student selects no, they don't wanna share and they click next, it automatically goes to submit the form. And when select yes, it takes them to the part where they can share. Once you've had your students complete the form, you can go here, you'll see the responses, and it gives you some data here, but the best part actually is in the sheets. 
So this is my first time using it. I'm going to create a new spreadsheet. And this column right here, column E, this is the one I'm really focusing in on to catch any social emotional needs that I may need to address. Here it tells me if they have something to share. So we're going to do some conditional formatting here. So on this first one, format, conditional formatting, text contains, we have to type exactly like we typed it in earlier, feeling good and ready to learn. And I want that to be green, so that's perfect. Now I want to add another rule. Click on the format rule, text contains, and I want to type in here what the value or what it says, feeling meh. And this is going to be my yellow sign. It's not real, real urgent, hopefully, and click done. Notice it's automatically changing. Add another rule. This one is not empty. We want it text contains, feeling sad, or upset. And this time, this is my red. So this gives you a lot of good information. It tells you exactly what date and time only here on the left, when students checked in, what period they checked in. You can sort all this data. But the really cool thing is that you can keep all your responses for the month of October in this same Google form. Let's go back to our Google form for attendance. Let's go over here and make a copy. I'm going to leave it as copy of October 9th. I'll show you how to quickly copy all that conditional formatting over. You don't have to do it again. You did it once. It's all set up. Let's enter some data on my new form. Go up to the eyeball as a student. If you click on the link for the form, you will always have the pencil down here in the lower right because you're the owner of this form. Click on it and then you can actually see the responses. We've got three responses here. We're going to go link sheets. And this time, instead of creating a new, I'm going to select an existing sheet. And this is going to put it back on the one we just had. So select the October 9th. Now you'll see here across the bottom, form one was October 9th. This may be October 10th. Oh! I forgot to change the date. This is going to be our copy of the attendance. And this was our original one that we already did. The second one had three responses. The first one had four. That's how we can tell them apart. But notice on our newest responses, we don't have them color coded, but that's easy. Go to our first form. Click on column E, press control C, and go back to your new form. Click on column E, and you want to go edit, paste special, conditional formatting only. Notice it automatically color coded it for you. You can redo that over and over and over. You can put all the attendance in one place and have it done for you. You can even look over here and this is going to give you some information on the side. If the students want to share anything with you, you can touch base with them. Like poor little teddy bear here lost his stuffing. You may, oh, I'm so sorry you lost your stuffing today. You can chit chat with them privately and congratulate Barbie on her dream house. Hope this helped. Remember, step out, be uniquely wonderful you and have a great day.